Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello, learners. Welcome to Manifested Online Classes. We are learning chemistry form two, and the topic is chemical families and patterns in properties. And the subtopic is a reaction or the chemical properties of alkali metals, where we are discussing the reaction of alkali metals with chlorine gas. Remember, in the previous lesson, we discussed the reaction between chlorine gas and sodium metal. You see that if you cut a small piece of sodium metal, you place it on a defragrating spoon, you warm it and lower it into a gas containing chlorine, then you are going to observe the white fumes. And the white fumes is because of sodium chloride, or the white fumes is sodium chloride, which is as a result of the reaction between sodium metal and chlorine gas. Then again, remember we said that this reaction should take place in a fume chamber or in an open place. And the reason we gave is that chlorine gas is a very poisonous gas and therefore it may affect your respiratory system. That's why you should protect yourself by carrying out this experiment in a fume chamber or in an open place where there is plenty of air. The question for the reaction was sodium which is a solid, was react or reacted with chlorine gas, leading to formation of sodium chloride. Then balance the equation like that. Therefore, this sodium chloride is white in color. So it is white in color and Chlorine gas is green. It is a green gas. So the green gas reacts with sodium metal. Remember again, it said that it has a shiny metallic luster when freshly cut. Therefore, when it reacts with chlorine gas, leads to formation of a white solid, which is sodium chloride. In this lesson, I want us to discuss the reaction between chlorine gas and lithium and also potassium. If you have a small piece of lithium metal and you burn it in chlorine, then this lithium reacts with chlorine, leading to formation of lithium chloride. And therefore, the equation will be lithium, which is a solid, reacts with chlorine gas leading to formation of lithium lithium chloride that is uh, the product therefore the equation is supposed to be balanced and again include the physical the physical states again this reaction should take place in a fume chamber because chlorine gas is also is still very poisonous the same thing happens to potassium. It reacts with chlorine, leading to formation of potassium chloride. But this reaction is extremely explosive, or it is violent, and therefore should never be tried. Chlorine and potassium, the reaction is violent, Therefore, you should not try it because it is very reactive. And therefore, if you look at the reactivity between lithium and sodium with chlorine, you'll find that chlorine reacts faster. Sorry, sodium reacts faster with chlorine compared to lithium. And lithium, no, potassium reacts violently or it is more reactive compared to sodium and therefore this is now when you know that the 
potassium is the most reactive potassium metal is the most reactive while lithium is the least reactive potassium is the most reactive while lithium is the least reactive this one this is because potassium the outermost electron in potassium is loosely held by the nucleus and can easily can easily be, be lost in a reaction. The reason why potassium is more reactive compared to lithium or compared to sodium and sodium more reactive compared to lithium is because the outermost electron in a potassium in a potassium atom is loosely held by the nucleus because of its size. Remember again it said that when you're writing the The electron configuration, we've seen that lithium, the configuration is 2, 1. For sodium, the configuration was 2, 8, 1. And potassium, the configuration was 2, 8, 8, 1. And therefore, if you look at this electron at the outermost energy level, that if you are showing the atomic size, that the size of potassium atom is too big in a way that the one electron in the outermost energy level can easily be lost in a chemical reaction compared to the one electron in the outermost energy level of lithium. So the one electron in the outermost energy level of lithium is strongly held, while that one electron in the outermost energy level of potassium is a little bit loosely held by the nucleus and therefore can easily be lost in a chemical reaction. That's how we explain that. And that is how alkali metals react with react with chlorine gas. I will leave you with this assignment. The assignment is Write balanced chemical equations for the reactions between chlorine gas with lithium and potassium. Therefore, I expect two chemical equations. One is the reaction between chlorine gas and lithium. And second is the reaction between potassium metal and chlorine gas. Ensure that you've done that before we meet in the next lesson. The next lesson will be discussing the similarity between ions and compounds of alkali metals. Meet you in the next lesson.